फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी स्पीकर सर दिस शोर्ट बिल सीकिंग टू मेक सर्टेन अमेंडमेंट्स टू द इंडियन टेरिफ एक्ट विद अ व्यू टू ग्रांटिंग प्रोटेक्शन टू द पावर एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स इंडस्ट्री एंड टू कंटिन्यू और डिसकंटिन्यू प्रोटेक्शन टू सर्टेन अदर इंडस्ट्रीज सीम्स टू सजेस्ट दैट इट इज नॉट वेरी मच अदर देन रूटीन बिजनेस सर इट इज ट्रू दैट गवर्नमेंट कम फॉरवर्ड विद अमेंडमेंट्स टू द टेरिफ एक्ट नाउ एंड देन एंड ट्राई टू क्लेम दैट दे हैव कम हियर टू गिव प्रोटेक्शन टू सर्टेन नेशनल इंडस्ट्रीज सर वी ऑल अर्ज दैट द पैरा माउंट नेसेसिटी ऑफ आवर कंट्री इज इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड देयर फॉर एनी गवर्नमेंट एक्शन which might seek to improve the process of industrialization in our country is commendable but as some of the speakers have already said when government have brought forward this bill they should have given a report as to the action they have taken for the development of these particular industries you know sir and i want to emphasize it that by mere continuation of the protective duty for all time to come it is not possible to industrialize our country we have to go to the basic needs of the industry sir as the honorable friend who spoke first on this bill said government promised that they were going to appoint a committee to go into the entire cost structure and see whether there was any possibility of the further development and further utilization of the productive power of this particular industry therefore i feel when the government have come forward with such an amendment they should give us a comprehensive report as to what action they have taken and whether they actually appointed a committee to look into all these problems sir the first point has been already discussed by some of the friends here about the power and distribution transformers industry it is absolutely necessary for us to see that we have more electric power therefore the development of the power and distribution transformers industry for the manufacture of distribution transformers is absolutely necessary here some allegations were made but we have got to see that the type of transformers that we manufacture here must be given to the people of india at the price which they can afford of course for something more in certain categories of industries it may be necessary for us to pay more for the foreign products but we must also see that these industries must be developed properly and they must not take advantage of the protective duties or the national feeling of the consumers of our country therefore sir i feel that some attempts have to be made to see whether the transformers that are produced here are having a good market or not all these factors must be taken into consideration before government bring forward an amendment to protect a particular industry mere protection is not enough they must see that the industry develops and to that end steps must be taken then another thing which is so to be protected is body panels including tops and sides for cars this bill seeks to legalize the notification made by the commerce ministry to this effect sir in moving this amending bill the honorable minister said that he hope that because of this protection cars here would sell cheaper than foreign cars imported here we know that in comparison after taking into account the duties 
द फोरिन कार्स हैव टू पे द कार्स असेंबल्ड हेयर आर चीपर बट दैट इज नॉट इनफ इट इज नियरली फोर और फाइव ईयर्स सिंस दिस इंडस्ट्री हैज बीन एस्टेब्लिश्ड एंड वी हैव टू सी टू वट एक्सटेंट इट हैज बीन एबल टू सेटिस्फाई द नीड्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द कंज्यूमर्स ऑफ द कंट्री एट लार्ज सर वी सो रिपोर्ट्स अबाउट अ ईयर और सो बैक दैट द हिंदुस्तान मोटर्स फैक्ट्री वॉन्टिड टू क्लोज डाउन बिकॉज इट्स प्रोडक्शन हैड नो मार्केट सिंस देन द गवर्नमेंट हैव टेकन सम स्टेप्स टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंडियन मैन्युफैक्चरर्स अगेंस्ट फॉरेन कॉम्पिटिशन बट आई फील सर दैट देयर पॉलिसी शुड बी सो गाइडेड दैट इन द केस ऑफ दोज आर्टिकल्स which can be produced or for which substitutes can be produced an attempt should be made and direction should be given to the manufacturers to go in for them otherwise it will mean unnecessary protection to industries which will mount up the cost for the consumer therefore i hope government will consider all these aspects and put a limit up to which protection is to be given we know about the sugar industry i do not want to go into detail the sugar industry has been protected for more than 20 years and yet we do not know whether it can stand on its own legs sir i find that the policy of imperial preference is still being continued i wish i am not misunderstood that i am against giving protection to the industries what i want to stress again and again is that any protection by government should necessarily be need based and purpose oriented stop